Nine grams. Damn, that's light. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new flight control. This is a micro flight control. This is from HDLRC. And I've actually been looking for a new flight controller. Well, actually a micro because I am looking to do a waterproof micro quadcopter build for, for when it rains and when it snows. I really want to have a nice little micro that's always available for me. And uh, looking through everything, this just came out not too long ago, and um, I thought it would be the perfect candidate because, you know, there isn't many wires and there's no connectors. You know, that just, uh, just the fact there's no connectors and it's using pins is just absolutely awesome because this way, uh, when we waterproof it, we don't have to worry about ripping off connectors and figuring out a way to, s to solder anything. And these solder pads are pretty big, so it's going to be pretty good. Um, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that hard, so... This is the reason I wasn't really going to make this video until I just like got it and double checked it, saw it would be good for waterproofing, and um, I see it's, it's going to be absolutely beautiful for waterproofing, so that's very good. Um, so let's just talk over the specs here. So it's basically an all-in-one flight controller because it comes in two pieces. It's, it's kind of going for the same thing as DYS going for. Hopefully it doesn't perform like DYS because <laughs> that one was just terrible. I mean, for me, it was terrible. Uh, for others, maybe it worked, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people had issues with that because um, yeah, I got a lot of emails about that problem so anyways now the esc here the esc part down here does not have a voltage regulator on board but this is a 28 amp esc rated up to 35 uh, amps i don't know how much the uh, burst is for 35 amps but it's a 28 amp uh, constant current esc so that's pretty cool actually it does have some filtration i can see some filtration going on here and going on here as you can see that so that's very good to see here so that's that's a big plus hopefully we won't need a capacitor um and we do have our battery pads here and this is probably for some kind of like i don't know like a v-bat or something right here um but which we're not going to need anyways so all we really need to do worry about is just soldering our motors to this guy and um our battery here and it's one two three four so it's perfect beta flight also just like this this orientation here and they do provide you with an arrow so that's good um it is a bb2 chip which is d shot 600 so that's going to be pretty cool uh waterproofing this is going to be pretty simple there's no connectors which is awesome and um, all we're going to have to do is just clean this up here and waterproof it. I believe we're going to waterproof half of the pin. Um, I think that'll be the smart thing to do just in case water just tends to seek up a little bit. Uh, and we'll figure it out as we go once we hit that stage on waterproofing. It'll be coming up very soon uh, because I really want to get this done with. So, yeah, um, this is all it comes with really, this whole package right here. It's a bit on the expensive side. It's like 60 bucks here. But um, for me, you know, just I was looking for the perfect one to waterproof and uh, I found it to be this guy. And so far... I'm very um, excited and I'm actually, I'm very happy. So this was a good good purchase on my end. I, I really do like this. So let's talk about the flight controller here. Now, the flight controller is an F4 processor and it's using the MP6, MPU6000 gyro, which is not the super sensitive gyro, which is the gyro that we love and we want, um, and um, which I prefer. So I'm very happy on that perspective. And if we flip it over, check this out. We have Betaflight OSD. That's just awesome. So we do have Betaflight OST and we do have a voltage regulator on board, uh, which is going to be very good here for us. So we don't have to run any extra wires from or just put any kind of voltage regulator. And like I mentioned before, just two pins, as you can see, I mean, six pins or what are these? Eight. Eight pins, put them together and you're good to go. So the whole waterproofing aspect of this is going to be absolutely beautiful. All right, let's talk about the pins here. Let's check out the layout. So in theory, it goes like this because we have the air on top. If you don't want to do any uh, modifications, this is how you place it in. So as you can see here, we don't have pads for the signals because it's expected you to use the ESC that comes with it. So if you think this is a big flaw for you, um, yeah, just take note of that right here. But for me, I really don't care. Uh, this is going to be perfect for me. So yeah, let's put this guy to the side now. So let's just go start with the upper left here. So we do have a ground pad and we have a five volt pad. Okay, so that's cool. 5 volt V in ground. Okay, so this would power off your camera. So video in would go in here and we'll go to your uh, OSD and we're going to find where uh, video out will be right now. Uh, we also do have another 5 volt and a buzzer. So this would be connecting to your buzzer if you wanted to. Or you can even connect your LEDs. So you put 5 volt ground and the signal would go here. So that's cool. They provide you for LEDs and buzzers. And now here, if we go to VTX, V plus and minus. So this is going to be a bit tricky here. Um, VTX would be the video out. I don't know why they named it VTX here, but it's video out. 
V plus and V minus, don't think this is 5 volt, this is not 5 volt. So if you're using one of those all-in-one flight controls, if you stick it on this guy, you're gonna burn, you're gonna just burn it instantaneously possibly, because this is coming straight from your battery. So you gotta be very careful, you would wanna go to the 5 volt here, and um, yeah, give it from here. So if you have uh, the all-in-one all -in -one cameras, you would give it 5 ground, and then the yellow wire would be here. And what else do we have here? Here we have the S bus, and they still provide us with the PPM, which is pretty cool. And ground and a spectrum and 3.3 volt for spectrum. However, what I notice is possibly you might have some issues. Um, maybe. Let me see the backside here. You might have some issues here if you're running iBus. You might want to have to probably stick it on PPM or do some resource mapping here. I'm not sure, but it seems that way. Sometimes for me, when I put iBus on the S bus signal, it won't work. So take that into consideration. Uh, we do have our boot, boot pin right there, boot button. So if you brick it, you could just right there and you're good to go. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's very tiny, very small, very simple. It doesn't really come with anything. It just comes with the ESC and the um, flight controller here and they just go in together like this. They do provide you with the standoffs. So that's very nice, that's very good. However, you don't get any, you know, XT30s or JST to solder this guy. You basically just have the cheapest packaging ever, which I truly love because it keeps the price down. And um, this one's actually pretty expensive. Well, for, for my taste, it's pretty expensive. But it seems like it's a good one. Uh, HLRC uh, fails us sometimes, but most of the time they're doing pretty well. Um, HLRC F4 Flame, for example, is very good. I really did like that one. And um, I hope, hopefully this one is not going to be... A disappointment and I don't think it is it just seems good quality here I've seen I've seen a lot worse boards than this um, so I'm very happy and I can't wait to try this guy out so yeah well if you want a micro a waterproof micro build go ahead and grab one I already ordered some Emacs motors some more 1106 motors and we're gonna use either this frame or we might even use we might even build a three inch with it actually I don't know yet I might use this guy, the Sparrow. This guy's gonna be pretty insane. I don't know what to do with this guy just yet, actually. He takes two, 20 by 20 and, and uh, 30.5 by 30.5. So I have no idea. Maybe we'll put like a Maytag all-in-one flight controller with Airbot Wrath minis and some Emacs or Brother Hobby uh, 1306 motors. I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out with this guy. But overall, I'm very excited about this. This is going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty awesome for waterproofing. And um, yeah, this is going to be our next waterproof build. Uh, our other waterproof build, which is the bigger one, will be complete very soon on the channel. So um, it'll be out within a couple days now. And um, yeah, we'll take it from there and do our first test. The weather has started raining, so we'll, we'll know how everything works out here. And well, that's going to include it for this video, guys. Oh yeah, and just one more thing. I saw it right now, actually, I was just looking at the at the HLRC I seen one exactly like this and it even comes with a VTX um, it's I think what is that 20 12 12 bucks more expensive I didn't see that one before if I did I would have picked that one up to just made my life a lot easier I just solder a camera and I'm done however I don't know how they connect it doesn't really show but yeah anyways um, overall uh, this is gonna be pretty cool and uh, if anyone was interested in it, this is how it looks like it's pretty tiny and I think we should get its weight because I think that's very important for most people and usually I tend to forget that I need to get myself a new scale 9 grams damn that's light let's just take this into consideration with this guy so this is the Airbot No X32 where I burned the gyro I'll show you guys what I did here. This guy, this guy's 14 grams. <clears throat> so nine grams. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be. It's, it's a light one. It's gonna keep your quad pretty damn light. It feels light too. So, well, that's gonna include it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.